Each story day of Valentine's is nearly upon us. Soon, we can all duel to claim the gentleman we hold dear. This will be a bloody ceremony of endless, deadly battles. I trust that each of you will fight with courage and honor. Woof. Where do I even start? Valentine's Day isn't a violent holiday. You just put your heart into making some chocolate. And then give it to a boy you like. Really? That's what you do? Yes, and your day of duels theory is rather concerning. Do you even have a beloved gentleman? What kind of question is that? Of course I... Huh? Actually, no one comes to mind. Oh. Then what were you trying to fight over? I'm just glad you brought the day up as a subject. What are everyone else's plans for Valentine's Day? Do the rest of you have a special someone in mind? I don't think it's right to pry into matters of the heart. <laughs> Why ever not? Such matters are the perfect subject for this kind of event. Hard agree. We, like, never get to talk about love stuff. I want to hear some juicy deets. Let's start with you, Lexi. What? Why are you asking me? <laughs> Excellent target selection, Yelsey. Will the white mutt bake some white chocolate this year? To give to her dear you-know-who? No, I don't know who. And I wouldn't anyway. No? Are you sure? And even if I did, there'd be no meaning behind it. It would just be to thank him for all he's done. The holiday's just a convenient pretext, that's all. A convenient pretext to confess your love? Aw, try as she might, she can't hide her tender feelings. We're having a girl talk? I've always wanted to do this. Okay, I've got a bunch of questions. Michelle, you're popular with the guys, right? Huh? Me? I wouldn't call myself popular. And I don't have anyone special right now. Uh-huh. Well, what's your type? Ooh, the ideal type of the ideal girl. Now this is something I'd like to hear. Not you too, Laplace. I guess my ideal guy would have a strong character. Someone honest, who isn't scared to stand up for their beliefs. That sounds like... Like it fits a certain noble someone to a T? Yeah. No, it could never be him. Whoa, did you have to shoot him down that harshly? I'm starting to pity the poor boy. Agreed, although strength of character is an attractive quality. Not that it makes me think of any particular person. Oh, don't you worry, Nessa. We know who you're thinking of. What are you talking about? And what's that look for? <laughs> so cute. Sounds like pretty much all of you have a type. I thought about it, but I'm not really sure what mine is. I know what you mean. You think so? Oh, right. I guess you're a little young for romance, huh? Don't treat me like a child. Actually... I will have you know that I do have a type in mind. Oh, I can see him right now, riding to my rescue on a white Patara. Oh, now he's gently scooping me up with his bulging muscles. Ugh. That's... a joke. Oh, thank goodness. I feared that all your reading had made you lose touch with reality. Talk about the pot calling the kettle black, Anna Maria. It's a good fantasy, though. I'd date a guy with a patara for sure. Then we could ride across the plains together. This story I read as a kid had a really sweet guy like that in it. 
Only little girls dream of such men. What? That's exactly right. I'm starting to think our tastes might align. Oh? Someone who understands. Whoa. This conversation just got mature. The tone has definitely changed. Listen. Your pure-hearted, steed-loving ingenue? He's boring. Furthermore, he lacks the backbone to get up after a good thrashing. You see, a lot of men act sweet as a cover these days. All they really are is weak. Don't be fooled. You said it! When things are getting hot and heavy... Nothing beats a man who's not afraid to take charge. Right. You need men with the confidence to make hard calls in battle. Hmm. I'm surprised that you two feel so similarly. Their perspectives seem plenty different to me. Oh, this is so complex! I think I see what's what now. But even though I've heard what sort of men you all fancy, I still don't know who you actually plan to give chocolates to. Hmm... I don't feel like we should give anyone chocolate. If we don't actually have feelings for them, you know? I am shocked! With the duel cancelled, I hope to enjoy this event. By making chocolate, if nothing else. It's not too late to find someone you love. Someone who's worthy of your heartfelt chocolate. Well, it's never too late. But still, that's easier said than done. Is it? You still haven't told us your ideal type, Anna Maria. Oh? Give us a list of traits, and maybe we can help you find someone suitable. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds like a ton of fun. We'll, like, help you realize that your friend is the one for you. I rather doubt that it'll happen like that. Who's to say? You won't know till you try. Let's just see what happens. I suppose you're right. Ahem. Then I shall begin. The following traits comprise what I would look for in a suitor. I'd like to meet a man who's seen the world with his own eyes. Someone with a wealth of knowledge that he's willing to share. Hmm. The scholarly type? And keep going! He must be kind and courteous to all, of course. And he must also possess a strong sense of justice. I want the kind of man who can't help but lend a hand. Someone like that would be perfect! I think I could fall for someone like that, too. Yeah, that sounds great! So, do you know anyone like that? Well, let me see. I know one. Huh? Really? It's obvious. Don't the rest of you see it? Those traits describe... None other than myself. Charles? When did he... Uh, so... Could you explain how that describes you? Well, it's plain to see, really. I, along with my lady, have seen much of the world. That's true. Charles has stood by my side this whole time. Guess we're just skipping past the whole wealth of knowledge part. Furthermore, I possess a very strong sense of justice. I sense that my lady is justice incarnate. <laughs> oh, Charles. Can a person be justice? I don't know. And even furthermore, I've shared scraps of bread with the hungry Raoul. Are you talking about when you were throwing breadcrumbs at him earlier? In conclusion, I am the perfect embodiment of all my lady's ideal qualities. Incredible! Charles, you were the one for me all along! Yes, my lady! We are each one of a pair! I shall follow you to the ends of the world! 
For that, Charles, I shall make you the very best Valentine's Day chocolate. My lady's homemade chocolate? What a treat! Uh, okay... Well, at least someone's gonna have a good Valentine's Day, right? It, yes, so it would seem. That said, if memory serves, her cooking is... well... Uh, uh, yeah. Good thing Charles will be the only victim. Oh, I've just had the most wonderful idea! To make a truly delightful chocolate, I shall have to experiment! Which means I'll need lots of help taste-testing my prototypes! I do hope everyone cooperates! <laughs> 